let's look into the cost function what's exactly the cost function of our uh, hypothesis so let's represent our hypothesis first of all so uh, if we could just get back over here we have our uh, hypothesis s theta x which is we, we have our s theta x which is nothing but our sigmoid theta x okay and this is our p e bar okay and if we have to denote the value in terms of sigmoid t it is 1 1 1 plus exp of minus t okay where t is nothing but theta transpose x now let's uh, look into the cost function that we have okay so the cost function uh, for our logistic regression is somewhat like this we have our log function so we have let's say cost okay uh, let's write the hypothesis as theta x comma y okay this is how we get the cost function is equal to minus log of our hypothesis minus log of our hypothesis if our y value is equal to 1 or else minus log of 1 minus s theta x if our y value is equal to 0 okay or else you can just write uh, in terms of p also minus log p we'll just make a short log p if y is equal to 1 or minus log 1 minus p if y is equal to 0 okay now this cost function really makes sense because uh, our minus log P, P cap, our minus log P cap grows very large when T approaches 0. Okay, basically it's something like this. If we plot a graph of this, we will be getting uh, for y is equal to 1, we shall be getting. So, this is our hypothesis plane. And this is if y equals to 1 basically when i plot it completely i will be getting something like this so 0 uh here's the okay this is the one point and this is for log this is for log p plane and this is oops, minus log p actually it's not h and p but uh, let's denote it by let's you know like p terms only p okay and this is our p where it is nothing but uh, p is nothing but our h theta x which is our hypothesis okay so from this graph you can easily tell that uh, our minus log our minus log p grows very large when t approaches to 0 okay so that's the fact okay uh, our minus log p grows very large when t approaches to 0 so the cost function will be large if the model estimates a probability close to 0 for a positive case that is there's a mismatch okay and it will also be very large if the model estimates a probability close to 1 for a negative class so both the scenarios when uh, there is a uh, mismatch okay our model predicts one but the actual case is zero it, uh, we will be getting a very high cost function so the cost will be very close to zero right if the estimated probability is close to zero for the negative instance also right which is exactly what we want the cost function over the uh, training set is the average cost over all training instances 
okay we take uh, the cost function for each and every instance and basically we get the average out of it okay it can be written in a single term rather than having these uh, two oops. rather than having these two terms it can be just written out as a single expression which is known as the log loss okay let me show you the equation for that so our cost function let's denote cost as k theta okay it is and we have 1 minus m okay this is for all the m terms summation of m we start from i equals to 1 basically we have this y of i log p of i plus 1 minus 1 minus i log 1 minus p cap of i so this is known as a log loss this is known as a log loss if you just compare it out with the back equation what we had in our back equation we had our uh, cost function okay so uh, we had our cost okay we had our hypothesis as theta x and then we have y and basically what we had was uh, we were having minus log of p and sorry minus log of p if y is equal to 1 and we had minus log of 1 minus p cap if y equals to 0 now if you just compare it if you just compare it with the above equation for y equals to 0 if you check this equation for y equals to 0 so we will be getting this term over here will get nullified okay this will just get zero so uh, for y equals to zero we get something like this for i equals to m i equals to one to m and as the first term gets to zero it will be zero plus one minus zero is only one so we get log one minus p cap i which is basically uh, the same thing for y equals to 0, we are getting this. See, the same stuff we are getting over here. Same thing if I do y equals to 1. Well, what, m. We'll be getting the first term. We have i. Plus, we have 1 minus, uh, 1, minus 1. That will be eventually 0. Okay, this term gets 0. So this is for y equals to 1. Okay. So as you see, we get exactly the same equation that we need. The bad news is that there is no known closed form equation to compare the value of theta. Okay. That maximizes this cost function. Uh, also, there is no equivalent normal equation also. The good, the good news on the whole is that the cost function is convex so gradient descent on any other optimization algorithm is guaranteed to find the global minimum okay if the learning rate is uh, not too large and you wait long enough okay then we will be exactly getting the global minimum as the uh, fun when we just plot it out in the gradient descent okay, we it's quite convex and it's really uh, sort of guaranteed that we will find the global minimum 